A friend once described the experience of living with someone with chronic illness as a study in intimacy. Wearing your life, emotions, hopes, and fears on your sleeve. My mom, on the other hand, described it as pillow, pills, poop, and piss. I just love that. How did the Tomoffs deal with intimacy and boundaries? Olivia said it's like being a local celebrity, but not in a good way. I think of it like winning a lottery you didn't buy a ticket for. A family is a unit, and it's not like there's a fence or a skin to protect you. And I feel like it was almost like when you're having a baby, you, you all, all bets are off. You have to just get through it. I feel it was very similar dealing with a child with cancer in a hospital for as long as we did. I think we came to love our staff. We became to trust our nurses and our and, and attending physicians. And that in itself catapulted us to where we needed to be each day. Mm-hmm. And I think that was a huge component of how we were able to get through those boundaries or the fences or whatever you said to help us with those critical decisions that we had to make because we were relying on them and their medical expertise and the nurses for their love and nurturing Mm -hmm. on a daily basis. And some, most of the hospitals try to use continuity of care. So if you had that nurse on a Monday and she was off Tuesday, Wednesday, we had Thursday, Friday, whatever. Mm -hmm. And that really was a really good rhythm to be into Mm -hmm. that it helped as families, not only us, but I noticed that on the, the rest of the floor too. When you have those same nurses that you just know, they know you intimately, you get to know them, you get to know about their families Mm. too, because we can't just be talking about what's going on right there. We bring that out. And I think that was such a, a light in that dark tunnel for us for so long.